your first alert weather with meteorologist Jeff Denoyer. All right, a much warmer start this morning, muggier out there as well, you may notice. Yes, it is, but nice not to have the jacket, not to have to wear the jacket, unless you need a rain jacket, which may be the case. And you know you don't have any showers at the house right now. You may want to tuck that away and wrap it around your waist, head, head to work because yeah. you may need it later. Uh, showers look like they'll become more numerous throughout the day. A lot of clouds right now. That's one thing that's a big change, too. We've had so much sunshine this week. I know it was a little windy early in the week, but high pressures dominated the forecast. That's all changing right now. And in beautiful Gunnersville, like beautiful Scottsboro, you have a little bit of cloud cover right now. A few little spotty sprinkles out there. Temperatures in the mid to upper 50s right now, already on the verge of 60 degrees. And we're going to start to see the humidity increase throughout the day. It becomes more humid for the weekend. A little bit of a breeze today, too. Not so much now. The winds are nearly calm. But into the afternoon, kick up a southeasterly breeze about 15 to 20 miles per hour. Nothing like the winds that we had earlier this week. But it is a sign of change. And it's taking those winds from the north earlier in the week, keeping things cool to transitioning them to the south, which means for you at home to bring in a little bit more humidity and warmth as we go into the weekend. Really cool block of air has been shifted north and east now, and our temperature trend is to go up, not just for the weekend, but for much of next week as well. Finally getting back to a pattern that features more in the way of 80 degree temperatures. The last time we hit 80 degrees was on April 20th. I mean, it's been a while and the normal high temperature is about 80 degrees. So it's typical for this time of year to hit 80 and we've fallen short many, many, many times so far to start the month, including five days, which will be the fifth day today. So here's your showers. It looks so much worse on the radar and a lot of this not reaching the ground, but eventually it will win out and we get into some rainfalls. We go into the noontime hour afternoon, big low pressure off to the west will eventually track east and it's slow. It's methodical. It just keeps frontal boundaries kind of hanging out here and it's not just for like this weekend. It goes into next week too where the pattern just becomes one of those like pop up shower thunderstormy kind of days and the temperatures are warm during the day where it doesn't rain the entire time. So here's hour by hour and it shows the showers here across the area and we know a lot of this is not reaching the ground yet. But as we go through the day today, you'll see some scattering of showers at times. Uh, Tennessee areas uh, also for areas in northern Alabama. There's no organization to this, but you have a little sun, then you have a shower and then the sun pops and your temperatures stay cool in the 60s and any time you have that sunshine, it will be limited because I think the clouds will win out a bit more. Going to tonight evening, cloudy, and then a few more showers pop up again Saturday. You have a few in the morning along I-59. You have a few showers late morning out to the west. Overall, though, big pictures, I think the weekend sets up. It's not raining the entire time, and that holds true for Sunday, too. Watch your temperature soar to the 80s. It's humid, and you get these little pop-up showers in the afternoon, and overall, big picture is it's not a tremendous amount of rain. It's more of a nuisance than anything else. Else. More showers and storms, probably a better chance for Tuesday and Wednesday, but nonetheless, each day with a storm chance next week and temperatures in the low to mid 80s.